So, can you beat Infernal Chimps with Grandmaster Ninja and Shinobi Tactics? Probably not. Anyway, so I'm around 28. I've got Quincy, Airburst Starts, and a base boat. That's going to become a flagship. Uh, and I bought Acid Mixture Dip so I can pop LEDs. Basically, there's a flagship stacking bug where you can stack multiple towers on the flagship if you have a Chinook. The issue with that, though, is you have to buy both flagship and Chinook, which means whatever you're putting on there, like, you can't get much support or anything, because that the setup costs 56k. So anyway, I've got Carrier, and I'm about to afford Flagship. I'm on round 58 now. Uh, so for a while, the mid game is fine. I'm just going to get Discount Villages and a Chinook. So like I place discounts on the left island. Uh, one of them is a Mib, so that it can give uh, DDT popping power to the ninjas that are on that left platform of the Flagship. So here is round 74, and uh, I got my Chinook and just gonna show off the stacking bug and how it works. All you have to do is just move stuff onto the platform with the Chinook, and that's it. Uh, the only thing is, if you die ever, then you can't stack anymore. Uh, so at some point I accidentally died, and I had to continue the run in Sandbox. So as you can see, there's now two ninjas on there, and, you know, they just stack like that. Another issue with this strategy is that, you know, you get Chinook and Flagship, like, somewhat late, and you can't necessarily get 20 Shinobis on there, partially because, like, uh, you can't stall with an Ice or anything because Flagship is a normal type and has infinite range. Also, like, I know some people will say, well, you could just use the cheapest gems, get Perma Spike, the biggest one, and then you can just kind of throw on Grandmaster, but that doesn't really count, because Grandmaster does nothing unless you buff it, so it's kind of pointless to make a video about that. Anyway, so that's where I just died, and so you're going to see me trying to stack and, well, it doesn't work. I've got 10 ninjas on there already. So like, I could start stacking on the other platform, but that platform isn't in range of the village that will become the mid, which is bad because like I would just die to DDT's son. Yeah, so the stacking doesn't work anymore since I died. So uh, I went to Sandbox because, well, yeah, I wanted to see, like, if I happened to not die during that run, would it be possible? So the first thing I tried here was I got uh, Shinobis and Blunjitsus. Uh, I think that's 14 Shinobis. And so uh, the reason I didn't go for Grandmaster is because it's technically not cost-effective compared to getting Blunjitsus. But you can overclock it and stuff, which is why it's uh, pretty good in like actual game runs. Uh, the thing is, you are not affording overclock in this setup just because like 
you had to buy the flagship in Chinook. Uh, so let me try again, set my money back to normal. That's how I'm going to be playing out this sandbox run is like, if I die, I set my money and lives back to what it was before trying the round. So I'm going to try adding another Blunjutsu and just stacking it on. See if I uh, do it in sandbox here, even though I leak lives there, like I didn't uh, kill the stack. Okay, so it's 15 shinobis and 3 blunjutsus. So part of the issue that I see with using Grandmaster or ninjas in general in this map is like the angle which it shoots from is shooting forwards instead of backwards. So for one, you don't get distraction on the shinobis nearly as well as you'd like. And you also, uh, the seeking doesn't go as well as you would want it to. Cause like if you see right now, it's handling it pretty well, or it was at the start. But once it has to start shooting in front of itself, then it doesn't uh, do as well. So during this round, I'm trying to get my shinobis on, but being aware of the Jinna cooldown, because that's like I would have to be aware of that in a real game. So I can't just throw 20 on there. So a storm of arrows and just hope it's fine. It's probably not fine. Well, okay, I beat 96. But I mean, if 96 is that hard, then 98 is not going to go well. I'm not being super precise about the cache, but I don't really, uh, I don't think it's gonna work out on 98 either way. And I definitely need first strike for 100 because like if 97 is being this much of an issue then uh, 100 is just gonna be that much worse. So that means the money I make on 98, I need to spend it. Or, yeah, I need to spend it on first strike. Okay, so I leaked some lives there on 97. Uh, so I, I did buy Sabo during the round, so I'm just trying to make sure my cash is uh, the same as it was before. So now I set my cash to 8227, and then I buy Sabo. Send 97 again. And so like, yeah, there's just no way that I'm going to get enough money for shattering as it is. And even if I had shattering, 98 is still a lot more dense than 96. And like, I, I could barely beat those ZOMGs on 96, where there are 8 ZOMGs. But on 98, it's like you have the 8 ZOMGs plus 30 BFBs. Even if you've got shattering, it's still a lot of balloons. Okay, so now on a 
So it's dealing with the first few ZMG is fine, but like once everything starts getting stacked on top of each other, uh, there's just kind of no way. And remember that I don't have enough money for shattering shells. But like I, I'm leaking so many lives that it just seems impossible. So another thing that I did later is I tried and see, tried to see what would happen if I somehow afforded Grandmaster Ninja. And the, the results were somewhat different, but not really, because I, buying Grandmaster Ninja, it gives that extra range, but the advantage over our multiple Bloon Jutsu is mostly that you can overclock it, and there's no way that you'd afford overclock. Anyway, so this attempt is not that. This is still just me trying again with the Bloon Jutsus. And it's just nowhere near happening. So this is my attempt with Grandmaster Ninja against 98. It doesn't seem to be faring that much better than you would with your Bloon Jutsus. Uh, so like Grandmaster Ninja is usually bought because it takes up less space than getting like eight Bloon Jutsus and you can overclock it and things like that. Uh, when you're stacking, the space isn't as much of an issue, but you do have the time issue where you can't chain hook as many things on as you would want to. So as you can see, like I'm still dying to massive streams of balloons like I was with the balloon jutsus. So I don't think this is possible, but if someone can do it, I'd love for someone to prove me wrong about this.